Hey World Capture, this is Justin, and today I'm going to teach you how I made the text for the Dark Iron Trailer of Steel. Alright, so let's just scroll through here first and just show you what, what it is. Alright. Alright, so we're going to create a new document and uh, start fresh from there. So first things first, I'm going to type out uh, what I'm going to, the text that I'm going to use. All right, put it to the center of the frame. Okay. Scale it down just a little bit. All right, so first we're gonna put a bevel on the text just to make it look a little more 3D-like. And make it look a little cooler. Put it as high as it goes. That looks good. Alright, new layer. I'm going to use this for the fractal noise. That's what goes on the bottom of the letters, you'll see. Put it on rocky, that's what makes a very nice uh, texture to it. Raise the contrast a little, lower the brightness a little. Complexity is not that important here. Alright, now we'll create a new layer and put it on the bottom. So that when you do uh, multiply, then it'll only go over the text. There you go. Now we have to mask the layer so it's only on the bottom of the text. Put a little feather on that. Alright, that looks okay. Let's continue. We'll make a new layer for our beam now, that's what we'll do next. So we'll get the beam effect. First make it full length, change the starting thickness to make it nice and big. The ending thickness we want to zero, so it trails off nicely. The inside's white, so it's very nice and bright. Put that color to like a bluish. The starting point's not that important because we're going to adjust that later, but just get around where we want it to be. And we're going to change that so they're the same height at the starting and the ending. Move the ending over so it fills the whole frame. Alright, now I just press Command D there to duplicate the layers. And composite on original, that's important. Otherwise it's just going to cover up the entire layer with that new beam. This way we see both beams. Alright, that looks pretty good. Alright, now we're going to make a new layer it's for our uh, brushing. We're going to brush on a little star to put right in the middle there so it looks a little nicer. Bring up that brushing panel. Alright, bring down the diameter and everything else to regular. It doesn't really matter where I put it right now because I'm going to move it. And now we're going to add the little lines in that make it look more like a star. So one there. Then we'll change it to 90 degrees and add another one in. Yeah, just like that. And I will put two at one at 45 degrees and the other at uh, 135 degrees. Make them a little smaller so they fit in nicely. Alright, there you go. That looks good. I will put that right in the middle so it looks like a nice flare. Well, the flare is coming next, but this is going to add to it. Alright, there's a new layer for the flare. Let's get the lens flare effect. Oops, spelled that wrong. That's definitely a little too bright, so we'll just bring that down to 65 and put it on screen. That was a mistake. <laughs> Alright, that's better. Put that on screen so that looks a little better there also. Now we'll now move it into place a little better because 
We're gonna have to position the lens flare. Alright, now let's position the lens flare right in the middle there. Nice. Alright, and that looks pretty good just for our still frame. But now we have to make the little animation. So that's coming next. And we're gonna do that using a camera. And we're gonna move the camera closer to it. And that way, it's gonna move a little bit in perspective. You might not notice it, but your eyes notice it even if you don't consciously see it. You'll see what I mean. So we'll start with the keyframe over there. And then we'll try, well let's not zoom in yet, we have to add 3D to the time will come layer and also to the fractal noise layer so that they move together. There, that's better. And of course the, the lens flare and the beam still are in the same exact location, so we'll move those next. But that looks pretty good. Let's move the beam and the, the, the lens flare. The lens flare we're going to move by uh, the effect, moving the, the, the center location. These we're just going to move them up a little bit. Yeah, see I'm moving up with my mouse right now, with the up and, up and down arrow keys. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I just zoomed in there with Command Plus. Now I'm scrolling just to see what it looks like. Alright, now let's center the uh, position of the, the lens flare. You have to animate that too. Let's just move that position up a little bit. Okay, that looks about right. Alright, so that's pretty good. So that's how I made the, the text for the trailer, and hopefully you like it. Hopefully you can make something like this on your own. Just, now just proper, uh, remember all to name all your layers, that's important. So when you come back to it, you'll remember exactly what everything is. Alright, and that's it.